evening and welcome. My name is Sandra. My channel is called Sussex Sandra and welcome. How are we all doing? Are we all doing all right? It's a Friday evening where weekend is here. We have just completed our first week of 2024. How are you all feeling? Is it going to be a good year? It's going to be a great year. In my opinion, it's going to be fantastic. Yeah, right. So today I come to you with an unboxing and today I am going to be doing my glossy box, which arrived this morning. OK, so what we've got glossy box is a monthly subscription box. It costs. I never remember this, but I pay. I'm signed up on a 12 month contract, so I can't cancel during that 12 months. So I pay. I think it's £11.50 I pay per month. If you sign up for sort of like six periods of time, so sort of three months, six months, 12 months, you will, your box will be a little bit cheaper each month. So the longer you sign up for, the cheaper the box will be. But if you do it on a month to month basis, I think the box is £13, £13.50. It's around that sort of price. So it's not bad. You will receive sort of five to six items inside the box. Um, usually sort of travel size items. You might get the odd full size item like, um, I don't know, like an eyeshadow brush or something like that. But it's usually sort of um, five to six sort of travel size items inside the box. I do do the box every month. I have a very strange relationship with Glossy Box. I don't understand it myself, so don't ask me what it's all about. Um, and you know you, you will receive um oh you receive sort of beauty items so you'll receive makeup occasionally usually skin care sometimes you'll get hair care um and the odd beauty tool as well they use quite a lot of familiar brands some brands are very much um, beauty box subscription brands so brands you don't see very often in the shops um which it's a shame because I would like to see more brands that we would go out and buy because um, a lot of the brands I feel are brands that I wouldn't personally go out and buy or purchase the products again but occasionally we do receive some brands that are good so before I go into this month's box into January's box the first month of the year I'm just going to do a quick review of how I got on with the box for December so December 2023 it was the last month of the box so the first thing about last month's box it came in a wonderful tin it was a really 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 glorious tin I think I might still have the tin down here or I might have moved it upstairs because I'm I think yeah I'm using it already um I've got stuff in there already it was just a lovely tin it was not sort of the usual sort of festive green and red and jingle bells and glitz and all that sort of thing it was more of a, a peach colour tin and it had sort of um baubles and things in it it was a very classy and I felt a really lovely tin so for me that was like the big thing for the box last month really it was a really 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 nice tin and it's something which I could use again so it was a nice little keepsake we did receive six items in the box last month so let me go through those the first item was um from lottie london and it was a mini eyeshadow quad um unfortunately the quad i received was all smashed to smithereens so it's not something i could use so i did have to throw it away um which was a shame but it's it's the good thing was is that i've i've had that product before because i've received it in a um in an ipsy glam bag at some point during last year so it's something I'm familiar with I do know the eyeshadow palette and it's there it's a decent quality eyeshadow palette it's something it's, it's available you can buy it here in the UK which is good so if you didn't receive it in your in your tin last month it's something that you can go out and buy it doesn't cost that much I think it's about it's definitely under 15 pounds but it's a nice formula for shadows that will work you can use to you can use for an everyday look you could glam it up a little bit it's a nice little palette but as I said my one came all smashed to smithereens I didn't bother to contact um glossy box because it's just not worth my while doing it because they, they hardly ever sort of respond when I do um sort of report to them that I've had a problem with the for product or if they do response they say they're going to send me something um send me a replacement and they never do and, I've, and that's happened sort of two or three times now so i just don't bother to contact them now really it's just a shame but hey ho so if you did get that eyeshadow palette last month you you would have enjoyed it because it was a nice quality um eyeshadow palette the next product was from Corez. They described it as a full size, but to me it was like a, a full size travel item. Um, and it was Corez um, Poreless um, 
moisturizer grape moisturizer i like Carrera's. so this is again another example of a brand that you can find in the shops um decent brand it was a lovely moisturizer i actually did use it and i bought it with me on holiday um, and i went to egypt and i used it every day when i was out there um I did leave the tube out there, so put it in the waste, but there was there was hardly anything left in there. Probably maybe what a day's worth left in there, maybe a day, two days worth left in there. But it was my moisturizer I used every day out there. Lovely moisturizer. It was very nice, very hydrating, absorbed very well into my skin, worked well for my skin. Good stuff. Very very happy with it. Oh, I didn't mention. I always do this. I do give scores to the items I receive in my boxes. So there are three scores. And I've changed it a little bit. So I'll give a score of a zero if it's a product that I'm not going to use or something that I'm going to be putting in the giveaway. So it gets a score of zero if it's if it's a product like that. So there could be many reasons why I won't use a product. So it could be because it doesn't work for me. I've tried it before and I know it doesn't work for me. The complexion or the colours might not work for me. Or it's just a brand that I'm not keen on using. So for that reason, I'll put, I usually put the product in the giveaway straight away. The next score is a half. So a half is going to be given to a product that I'm not sure about, but I'm going to give it a try to see what it's like. So I'll give it a score of half. Or when I do my review back um, after a month and I report back on it, it's a product that I did try, didn't really enjoy. Not something I'm going to be purchasing again, not something I want to see again. So I might give it a score of half because, you know, I did try it. And the final score is a score of one. So that is a product that I will be using. Um, if not me using it, it's going to be a member of my close family, usually my daughter, because sometimes I forget things in my beauty box subscriptions. My daughter is very keen to use it and I just hand it over to her and she uses it. So it's quite good because I get so many things. So it's good that I can pass things on to my daughter and she will use it. And I tend to see the empty packaging if I catch it um, later and I could put it in my trash and I'll do a, a proper review at some point when I do a what's in my trash video. So those are my three scores. It'll be a zero, half or a one. So for the Lottie London, obviously that's a score of zero because I couldn't use it. It wasn't it wasn't usable. The Corres Great Moist Moisturiser gets a score of one because I did use it and I enjoyed it. And it is something I would purchase again if I needed to buy a moisturiser. The next product was from Brave New Hair and it was a coconut cuddle hair cream. So I've received products from Brave New Hair before from sort of British um, subscription boxes and I haven't really enjoyed anything I've received from them before. However, this product it came with us again on holiday and um, it was used a lot by my niece so basically when I was doing her hair my niece was in the water sort of like every day so her hair needed to be done refreshed and stuff it smelled really really nice it um, it detangled it gave a lot of slip it was just a good product to use inside her hair it didn't last long because it wasn't a very big tube and my niece has got a lot of hair a lot of hair so it was a product that got used up very quickly sort of within three four days but it's not really nice it did the job good product so wouldn't be upset if i received it again i wouldn't be upset if i received a full size of that again so that was a good product so that got a score of one as well <clears throat> Next product um, also was good. Um, it's from Spectrum Brushes and we got um, a tapered eyeshadow blending brush. I haven't got it down here. I've kept it in my collection upstairs. But again, nice brush. It works. It's good. The Spectrum Brushes are actually quite expensive and I think this brush was like something like £18. But it's a decent brush. It's uh, It was soft but it was dense so you can actually do... Um, sort of your blending or if you wanted to just sort of like tap colour in or do a little bit of blending along your crease it's perfect for that so it's a good brush that you can actually work with and it's got a function so very happy with that that gets a score of one as well so we've got three products so far which I'm giving a score of one the next two products not so great so the next product was from Nails Inc and it was a, a gel nail liqueur nail varnish whatever you want to call it that's not the problem the problem was is that it was in a color that I've received at least twice in 2023 um, and I know I've received it at least once from Glossy Box last year um, it's color Mayfair Lane a nice color a lovely colour to wear in the spring or if it's a bridal colour, sort of early spring, you want to sort of do your nails. Nothing wrong with that colour at all. 
just not an appropriate colour for, for me, the festive season. And also not appropriate because it's the second time we've received it in a year. I've received that particular shade, I mean, I think I worked it out. I've received it three times in the last couple of years um, from either Look Fantastic or Glossy Box or another beauty box. But I've received it three times in the last two years. And I've received it more than that, if I look at it, look at that over five years so I wasn't very pleased to see that in the um, December box and I did put it in my giveaway because I'm not going to use it and so that got a score of zero obviously and the final product um, it was from Makeup Academy MUA and it was a liquid cream brush this colour was actually this product was so funny, it did make me laugh. It was a, um, I decided I wanted to try it just to see what it was like. And I knew, my gut was telling me, don't try it, Sandra, because it's not going to work for you. But that stubborn part of me was like saying, no, I want to try it. You know, I've received it. I want to see what it's like. So I opened it, I squeezed it out of my hand, and it was hilarious. It was just a pale pink ashy colour on my skin tone it was like oh my word what the heck it was awful absolutely awful colour so there's nothing I could do with that so it's, it's literally just gone in the trash so that scored uh, um, a zero as well so six items received and last month's box December box got a score of three out of six which is you know it's not the best because I want to get more than halfway with my score I mean I've got my value in the box so I shouldn't complain too much because I'm paying £11.50 for the glossy box and I think two of the products the Corre's uh, moisturizer and the eyeshadow brush um, easily came up to sort of like 20 odd pounds plus so I definitely had sort of more than double what I paid for the box so I can't really complain yeah so there you go so let's crack on and see what we got for our first box of january 2024 i'm trying to find the little bit to tear it's normally quite a clear perforated bit but it doesn't seem to be that not happening here is it on the top oh maybe it's on the top this time yes yeah, on the top right let's open it up. <coughs> okay so we've got a normal glossy box um, traditional. Let's take it out. Right, we've got a few leaflets, so let's go through the leaflets quickly. So we've got Tails again, so it's a product for your pet dogs. We've got Trip again, which is like a CBD drink. We've got Hello Fresh again. We've got that. We've got Vital Vitamins Personalized to You, Your Lifestyle and Goals, and if you scan it, you'll get 50% off your first one, I believe. So there's that. What's this? This is Aura B. Scan to redeem your exclusive offer. So what is it? Just a new fancy toothbrush. Got that. And finally from Wild. Yeah, I'm subscribed to Wild, so I get the Wild deodorant. So that's that. That's all the leaflets. So let's put those in recycling. <laughs> right, and here's our box. So this is our... We've got a little bit of the um, stuff here. Wiggly worms. So this is our... January box. Okay, let me do a smile for the thumbnail and there we go. All right, let's go. Let's see what we got. So I'm going to have to scan for the QR code. So let me find that first. Oh, that's what it's looking like on the inside. So it's decently packed. I can't initially see my card. Oh, here it is. There's my card. So you get a card like that and then what you do, you scan it and then that will bring up your um it'll, it'll bring up the details of what's inside the box let's just do that right so we've got glossy january 2024 um it seems to be the theme is refresh maybe um, and you've got a, a lady sitting here in a rather nice sort of pistachio sort of t-shirt and yoga pants looking very calm and kumbaya right let's have a look there's usually a little blurb about what's inside the box as well. So let's do that. Right, so they're saying, here we go. I'll try not to do my, my Charlotte Tilbury voice. Hello, glossies. <laughs> Welcome to 2024. January's theme encourages, encourages you to relax, refresh and recharge. So you're three R's. Um, 
whilst discovering your inner beauty, our curated box offers tools for resetting and embracing positivity. Okay, break new ground fearlessly with our transformative product selection. Show them off and express your unique radiance. Um, here's to a month of self-care and embracing your beauty. So that's what I'm expecting from sort of all the beauty boxes for January. It's going to be all about, what they say, refresh, reset, recharge, all of that, rebalance, renew, all the R's. It's going to be all about that. All right, so let's have a look. Okay, I can see initially some repeat products here. So this one I'm never unhappy about because I like the fragrance, but it's the second time I've received it in a couple of months. I think we received this from Molten Brown. It's the Molten Brown Deluxe Size Coastal and Fennel um, sort of body wash. Lovely fragrance, but I received this, was it November? Look Fantastic? So Look Fantastic and Glossy Box are all under the same group, the Hut group. So the two boxes are... If you see something, if you get something in one box, you're bound to get it again a couple months later in the other box. Yeah, so I'm not surprised to receive this again, but I didn't think it would be so soon after receiving it in November. But again, bearing that in mind, I know with Glossy Box and Look Fantastic, they spend a lot of time trying to get new people for the new year. Um, so this is a big time if you want to sign up to, to gift glossy box to anybody and if you do want to do that and want to join i have got a, a referral code down below in the description box if you want to use my referral code to get yourself onto the whole glossy box train right so we've got this deluxe size body wash which as i said it does smell really love it does it smells lovely um the fragrance they say a salt sprayed collision of the ocean swell against rugged outcrops waves lapping in uncharted caverns a peninsula awaiting great explore, uh, exploration a wash your senses with sea soaked adventure coastal venturesome uncharted wow they're, they're really selling this aren't they i mean i live by the coast i've literally got cliff tops just literally across the road from me so for me this is like a perfect scent for down here um invigorate the senses with with our multi-award winning shower gel this aromatic body wash cup comes alive with a bracing collision of cardamom marine notes and salted cypress and recommended retail price for this is five pound it is a lovely fragrance it's one of my favorite fragrances from molten brown so i'm not unhappy about that just a bit surprised that we've received it so soon okay so so eco clearly doing their rounds because we've got a, a, a so eco product in the fantastic box so this is a glove to exfoliate and body wash and all of that so it's from so eco this is a brand i don't mind at all They're, it's a decent brand decent quality stuff sustainable in you know, products and stuff so it's full size and it's exfoliation glove. Indulge in the ultimate exfoliation experience with the So Eco Exfoliating Glove. This innovative two-in-one glove features two sides for versatile skincare benefits. The exfoliating side gently buffs away dead skin cells, revealing smoother and more radiant skin. The cotton side gently cleanses and pampers your skin um, with a soft touch. Um, with a soft touch. Crafted with sustainability in mind, this glove is made from eco-friendly um, materials. Elevate your skincare routine with the So Eco Exfoliating Glove and achieve silky smooth skin. 20% um, off the whole brand on Look Fantastic, if you, if you go on there, and £6.50. Okay, so I've covered the price of my box, which is £11.50, with these two items. I personally, I probably won't use this. I mean, it's a nice idea, but I probably won't use this. So I'll see if my, my daughter wants to use it. Right, next. Next is from, I don't know what this is. This is something new. This is from Otto. What is this? Oh, it's a CBD hand cream. Yeah, more hand creams. I'm more than happy with that. It's a deluxe size CBD hand cream. Otto, O-T-O, -O, I'm not sure. 
um, Ritual Hand Balm combines pure CBD with a complementary blend of shea butter, olive oil and aloe vera leaf, offering intense moisturising benefits and helping prevent damage by UV light. The top of the hands is where you will most easily absorb the Otto Ritual Hand Balm and with so many other botanical and functional benefits, this incredibly powerful hand cream is a great carry around for smooth and protective skin. Recommended retail price is £19. It's quite pricey. But yeah, I am all up for hand creams because I love a good hand cream. So it's all sealed. So to open it, you just use the lid like that and then you just puncture it like that. Push it down, turn it, and there you go. You've opened it. Um, just trying to see what the fragrance is like. I'm going to put this one in my, my handbag. So that's what my hands are like at the moment. They're not too bad for a change. What's this feel like? Oh, it's nice. It's nice. But the smell is... Um, I thought it was quite mentholy initially, but it's not. It's definitely got an earthy scent, so I'm assuming that's the CBD stuff in it. Yeah, it's, it's got an earthy scent, but yeah, this is very moisturising. Oh, this is good. This is my kind of hand cream. Yeah, so that will definitely be going in my handbag. So I've got a couple of things here already on my desk. So, yeah, more than appreciative of that. Okay, all right. They're doing all right. Next. <coughs> um, is Glow on the 5th. Right, this is a brand I believe that belongs to that woman. Um, so this is full size. What, just the two? Blimey. So gel under eye patches, a pack of two under eye patches that minimise the appearance of puffiness and dark circles in tired looking eyes in just 15 minutes. My eyes are absolutely shot. I am so tired. I was up till four o'clock this morning working on an assignment. I know, I know. Um, so yeah, I was absolutely finished today right remove pat from push and remove the top and bottom clear protective liners after cleansing place the patches onto the skin and adjust to fit comfortably onto the eyes remove the patches after 15 minutes do not rinse pat excess uh, serum onto the skin 11 pound and three pence they suggest it's worth oh i don't know you know what i'm probably going to keep it because i think right now i need all the help i can get this weekend is going to be very much a relaxation weekend for me because I've been working flipping hard this week. It's like first week back at work and I've just had everything on me plus coursework to hand in. It's just been full on this week. So this weekend I'm hoping it's going to be a very quiet weekend where I can just relax. Relax and cook. That's all I need to do. Right. Next item is from Groom. I think the last item I received from this was like a bar of soap, something like that. So this is Groom and it's a deluxe size. This is a pulse point rollerball deep relaxation. Find your peaceful place at night and even throughout the day. Rich woody aromas ground you while lavender and chamomile soothe the nervous system. Roll onto pulse points at the temples, neck and wrists or apply behind the ears. Then relax. Suggested retail price is £12. Interesting. So in the Look Fantastic box, we got a, um, a This Pillow Works, um, what do you call it? Manage Your Stress kind of spray product. So we've got something very similar, but this time it's a roller ball. I'm going to keep it because I need everything I can get right now just to help the stress. I mean, I've still... I had a raging headache earlier on today. Um, it's eased down because I went out for a walk earlier on, but it's still kind of hanging back a little bit. So I think it's just because I'm tired. So I think all this kind of stuff will actually come in quite handy this weekend to help me relax. So I might be using this stuff all this weekend, to be honest, just to just treat myself and pamper myself. So yeah, it's a new product. I've never seen that before. So I'm more than happy with that that's what i want to see i want to see new products products that i can use so i'm not unhappy with that 
Um, oh, and if you're subscribing for the first time, so this is something I was talking about if you want to subscribe. New subs will get um, a product from Daily Com Sets, which is a body scrubber. To be honest, it's a load of rubbish. It's just like a silicone pad. Um, yeah, it's... Oops, what's happened there? Yeah, it's just a load of rubbish. But if you're a new sub, you'll get that. <laughs> Sorry, I apologise now. As an old school glossies, glossy person, I apologise for you receiving that because I think it's a load of crap, personally. But there you go. But that's what you're going to be getting as a freebie. All right, what am I thinking about my box this month? I actually don't mind it. So we've got the body wash, which will get used eventually. So I'm more than happy with that. That's from Molten Brown. Um got these eye patches again it's from a brand i'm not that keen on because it belongs to a certain particular person but i think because i'm in such a mess at the moment i think i'll probably be using it this weekend so i am going to keep it we've got this from groom it's a pulse point roller so something to support on my pulse points to help me relax so i'm going to give that a go this weekend why not got this hand cream which i've applied and it feels really nice it's very absorbed really easily and it feels really hydrating and rich so happy to receive that and we got this big old thing from um so eco which is a body scrubber so all good all things to help you relax and chill so that's fine for my 11 pound 50 yeah definitely covered my money so i'm i'm fairly happy with that box what are you thinking let me know down below yeah all right guys i am going to leave you there i haven't got i'm not expecting any more boxes in the next coming week um because i've stopped birch box um and my american boxes won't be coming until the end of the month so there might be a bit of a gap with me i might end up doing a, a, a what's in my trash in the next few days or so as that might be happening um but that's it so i will see you soon look after yourselves take care of yourselves Use the opportunity to relax if you can. All right, take care. Bye.